Hi, I'm Steve Jackson from Jupiter, Florida. I raced the Ironman World Championships uh, this past year, and a few weeks later, I was the overall winner of Ironman Florida. As a triathlete, the majority of our time is spent on the bike, so aerodynamics has a huge effect on our overall time. I have been using Aeropod to perfect my aerodynamic position and also my equipment setup. Uh, today, I'm going to show you how to use Aeropod and how to test different equipment. Uh, this is a Trek Speed Concept 9 series with HED Jet 6 black wheels and an SRM power meter. And here I have the Aeropod set up. It's set up right underneath the baseboard. Uh, it's where it's a nice firm mount so there's no vibrating or anything like that. If you have it mounted to the bars here, kind of the aero bars here, uh, so you'll get some flexion and it'll actually throw off the reading for the Aeropod sensor. Um, so the Aeropod is just mounted with a standard uh, GoPro mount. Squeeze the little two tabs together and then the Aeropod just slides right out. And here I have a Garmin Edge 520, and this is where the Aeropod can send the CDA value to Garmin here, and I can see it live. And here I have a Garmin uh, speed sensor. So to pair my SRM to the power meter, I spin the cranks backwards a couple times for a couple of seconds to wake it up. I, then I spin the front wheel, so I wake up the speed sensor and then I can power on the Aeropod. And then, and then it just went to solid yellow, and now it's blinking uh, green and red, and it's ready for a calibration ride. So we're gonna be doing some testing today, and before I start every testing, um, I start with a calibration ride first. And today, uh, so we have a nice smooth road with very little wind and very little traffic. So the AirPod is flashing red or green, so it's ready for a calibration ride. So I'm going to hit the button to uh, start the calibration ride. Here we go. So I completed the configuration ride and the baseline CDA that it gave me was 0 0.220. And so that's my CDA for this setup here with um, a cycling kit, a road helmet, and this bike and wheel set. So let's have a little fun and see what happens if I change the setup or my clothing. So I changed out of the standard cycling kit and road helmet and I changed into a Louis Garneau skin suit and an aero helmet. I'm going to ride down about a mile and then a mile back and then we're going to see if my CDA changes at all. So my CDA is about 0.18. So this is essentially my race setup, and uh, so just completing the test with the skin suit and aero helmet, the CDA was roughly 0.19, and so that's about a difference of 0.03. Uh, so you can see there's a big difference between a standard cycling kit and a road helmet uh, compared to a skin suit and, uh, and an aero helmet. The Aeropod also picked up, we rode about six minutes total and it picked up my time advantage from our previous CDA was about 12 seconds in that six minutes. And so just in that six minutes, I would have a 12 second difference between the old CDA and the new CDA. So I've been using the Aeropod for the last couple of months and I find it pretty easy to use and very accurate. And extremely convenient because you can do it in your backyard it doesn't require you to go to a wind tunnel and spend a ton of money to go to the wind tunnel so um, I, this is something that I'm definitely um, will continue to use in order uh, to refine my position and to refine my equipment.